Hello, my friends and lovers of Cuban music. I was surprised to find out that in the entire YouTube there is no tutorial for La Habana del Este. So I've made one. So uh, this is a song from 1997, which was recorded by the Afro-Cuban All-Stars. The song was written by Juan de Marcos Gonzalez, which was the gentleman that organized the musicians for the Buena Vista Social Club. And the original uh, album was written or, or recorded around the same time as this song. So uh, first of all, I'm going to go over the, uh, the, the meaning of the lyrics for those of you who don't speak Spanish. So the first line, Allá en La Habana del Este, means over there in the east of Havana, cruzando el túnel mi amor. So that means like crossing through the tunnel, my love. Tengo una casita linda. I have a beautiful little house. Y allí está mi corazón, means, and there is my heart. So, uh, meaning my love, it was a song he wrote for his wife, I think I mentioned. So, uh, let's go over the chords. So, the chord changes are fast. It's basically two beats for every chord. And except for the last two chords, those are uh, four beats. So, those are one bar each. So, this is the chord progression. And this is just, uh, the, the song is uh, a long instrumental, but this is the part where they sing at the end in the Son Montuno style. So the first chord is a C minor. So that's basically an A minor. Free up your in index and play an A minor, then take it to the third fret. You got a C minor. The next chord after that is what's called a D diminished. It's played like this. So it's basically like an A7 brought up to the third fret. And then these, the third and the fourth finger go here. And then a G7, this is one way to play a G7. And then back to the D diminished. The second line repeats that chord progression with the same timing. And then the end of the lines go F minor, which is basically like an E minor taking up one fret. Then a B flat, that's like an A taking up one fret to make a B flat. Then an E flat, which is like a D taken up one fret. You, you get yourself an E flat. Then a C. And then the last two chords are a D7. And like I said, you hold this one for an entire bar. And a G7. And you hold that one for an entire bar. So let's go through the chords kind of in the tempo of the song. repeats over and over again and you jam over top of that progression yeah it's a lot of fun so i hope you enjoyed that and uh, please give me a like if you found this useful thank you bye